In this presentation, we will continue on with our comprehensive S-Corporation problem, part six here. We're going to do the data input related to distributions within Lacert Tax Software. Lacert is owned by Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks. The data input process and generating of forms will be similar to other types of software as well. We will have uh, the actual tax forms if you want to use the tax forms and enter them directly into tax form PDF files, which can also be found on the IRS website at irs.gov. Here is our form 1120S that we have so far. You'll notice and recall last time we entered our income statement down here into the uh, tax return and we got to the bottom line number of the 100,000 in the tax return noting that we're gonna have to make some adjustments for it. So that was exciting. So we note that this ties out now. We've got the 100,000 here and we've tied out basically on Schedule L, which is in essence the balance sheet on page four here, the uh, beginning balance and we tied out the assets for the ending balance and we even checked the ending retained earnings to see that the book retained earnings we have would put us in balance and it did. Then we removed the, the retained earnings here. We didn't force the retained earnings. And you'll note that we're not in balance. We don't, we're not in balance here. These two numbers are not the same. So we know that everything else ties out. We've checked every number. The only number that can be off is this number. And we know that, uh, that it, 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 the beginning number is right. And we know that it should reconcile out. The thing that's missing now is going to be the distributions. So the distributions are, are what we're hoping. It's going to be that difference once we enter those. We should be okay. Now, what are the distributions? You'll recall that if we think about uh, the retained earnings up top, this is basically our equity account. Now, this in the trial balance is the beginning retained earnings. And then the ending retained earnings would be the beginning retained earnings. Well, this is the beginning retained earnings and distributions. And so the ending retained earnings you would expect then would be this beginning number plus the activity or the 387,408. Now, if I look at this retained earning numbers, the beginning retained earning numbers, and it doesn't match what's on the tax return beginning balance, 353,408, then there's a problem because it's not going to roll over correctly. Now, how do I fix that problem? Well, hopefully the difference is something got posted to retained earnings. Something here got posted to retained earnings, uh, and that most likely would be distributions. So then we go into the GL account and see what those distributions are. If not, if, it's, if I look at the GL and the beginning balance still doesn't tie out, then what happened is the client backdated something. Something happened between their data and, and the current data, and you got to basically do an adjusting entry to match what was on the prior books. And you can, you can tie out the, the books to match that out. But hopefully, then if we, look at the, if we look at the data, then the beginning balance, if we look at the GL, will match out, and anything that got posted directly to retained earnings which doesn't happen generally. It, 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 the only thing that would be posted there would usually be distributions to the owners. So we're going to say that we had distributions to the owners here. So what are those distributions? They're going to be down here in our data that we had these distributions. I'm going to make them green so we can see them. There's our distributions. So 46,200 to Tim and 198 to James. So we're going to go back over here. I'm going to go into our data input screen. Note that we also need this distribution screen if you're uh, the shareholder screen if you're in Lacert. Uh, the shareholders would be Tim Jones. I'm just going to put the ID number. I'm not going to put the uh, address. And then we had uh, James Smith. So we had that information and then we entered the officer information, which these are the two officers as well. Then we're going to go into the distributions screen. So now we're going to say the distributions. These are kind of like draws, what they took out of the company as opposed to investments. They took this out. The company makes money. Retained earnings go up, then they take money out of the retained earnings from the business for personal use. So these, and that'd be like a draw for a sole proprietor. So that's forty-six two hundred for Tim. So I'm going to say forty-six two hundred uh, two zero zero, and then for James nineteen eight. We're going to say one nine eight zero zero. Back to the forms then. So then if we go back to the forms, we see this number in retained earnings has, has now changed. And if, so I'm still out of balance here. So now I'm going to try to say, well, why, why would that be? It's, it's four, it looks like I'm 4,000 out of balance. Let's check it. Let's say, hmm. And we're going to say that we had the 580408 minus the 576408. That's 4,000 out. I would expect this uh, 383408 to match the balance sheet up top 
which in the current balance sheet is 387,408. And I would expect if I was to add up the retained earnings on down, not the capital, it should be 387,408. So let's take a look at it. Now, it could be that there's an adjustment, an M1 or a Schedule K adjustment that's, that's uh, taking this out of balance. So let's take a look at that. If I go down to the, to the M1 adjustments, I notice I have this 4,000 here for the travel and entertainment. And I, I really don't want that right now because I want to first be in balance. So what I'd like to do is say, oh yeah, that's when I entered double the meals and entertainment and it took half and made this M1 adjustment, which is throwing off my balance sheet. So what I'd like to do is say, okay, what I, I want to remove this right now. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go to the data input. And I'm going to say that I don't need, I don't want this double amount in the meals, but rather I'll put it in some other place where it's not going to generate an M1 adjustment and then I'll come back and fix it. So I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to remove this right now and let's just put it into other down here and I'm going to call this meals. And then I'm going to put the 4,000, just the 4,000. I don't have to enter it twice now. I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to double check that my page one is still at a hundred thousand. It's still there because now I've have 4,000 here instead. And then I don't have any adjustments to it. If I look at uh, the schedule K, no adjustments on this page. And then if I go to the page four, we're we have this item and we're back in balance here so now we're in balance so that's going to be our adjustment and, and if i look at the m1 schedule now we have no adjustments so i haven't done any m1s i don't have any schedule l i don't have any reconciling items from the books to the tax and uh, i am now in balance with the schedule l and everything looks okay there now so now what i want to do uh, next time is we're going to start making those m1 and schedule l adjustments and as we do it every time we're going to go back up to page one and say, okay, does it, can I tie, can I tie this number out to my worksheet? We're going to go back to page uh, four and say, here's the, here's the ending number here. Can I tie that out to my worksheet? Cause they'll, they'll start to change. And then we'll go see to our balance sheet and we'll say, is our balance sheet still in balance? Are we still in balance? And then we'll go to our M ones and look at the book income and the tax income. We're going to check that every time as we go to all of our open items here which are basically all of these yellow items. We're going to go through each of these yellow items one, one at a time. And as we do that, we'll also check off the, the items that we wrote in our, in our open items. And if we can't figure something out, we'll leave that open. And our goal is to take care of as many of these as possible. And then when we have questions, if we got to go and ask someone about something, then we can know specifically what we're asking. We're not just saying, hey, I, you know, something's out of balance and I don't, know what, I don't know what's going on. We're going to say that, you know, we tied it down to this one thing and we need, to, we need some specific help on this one particular issue here.